Hi everyone, Juliana here and welcome to my channel again. If you're new here, please subscribe for more photography related videos and if you're not new, welcome, so happy to see you. In this video, I want to share with you the process behind the scene process and walk you through how I make, create my own self portraits, creative self portraits. And if you want to see them, I have so many of them, please visit Chi underscore photo. It's on Instagram, this is my profile, and you will find like uh, so many of the pictures, the, especially the creative self-portraits that I, I call them that way. Because I get so many uh, inquiries and uh, people curious about them and also say that I'm inspired them to take self-portraits, I decided to share more the process and actually show that there is a lot of work to make self-portraits uh, self because you actually do, you're the lighting person, you're a photographer, you're the model, you're the editor, you all do the same and it's actually a big time commitment. So I decided to record it, one of the shoots that I actually planned because I'm going to some because I'm quite a spontaneous person and a lot of shoots I have spontaneously. But this one was kind of planned uh, ish uh, because I usually have like a general idea and then I just explore and create. Whenever I was recording it, I saw the, the video length, so the preparation, the light setting took me around 30 minutes, then uh, hair makeup took me around 30 minutes and the photo shoot itself took me around 30 minutes. So it's an um, hour and a half of process, not counting the pre-preparation and also of course editing. Editing takes way more time than that. Uh, so first, whenever you want to do your self-portraits, first I always set the light. I used not to do I used to not to do it. I used to kind of get ready and then I would go to my studio to uh, do the setup. And here's the thing. Depending on what you wear or your hair and makeup, sometimes it's really inconvenient to go back and forth, back and forth and adjust the light, especially if you have um, kind of a lot of going on with your styling. So yes, now I do I always preset my um, composition, my camera and the light. Uh, I try them everything to make perfect exactly as I want before I get um, ready. So this time it actually took me longer because I had some an idea but uh, I really kind of ex I had to explore it and uh, I start with the natural light so I wanted something dreamy. I had some pieces of the tool fabric on the window just to create more texture so the tool didn't actually affect the light itself just create kind of more mood to the picture so whenever I take a close shot it wouldn't be just the window it would have that uh, kind of extra texture that would uh, come together with the styling uh, so I, I attach uh, some tool, black tool fabric to the window with the um, painter's tape I believe and then I start to experiment with the light and the frame so it really takes time back and forth back and forth you have to go to adjust the camera and adjust the angle and i always say this is my kind of only regret you cannot really take the picture of yourself uh because uh, tripod takes a picture of you right camera takes a picture of you because you cannot be actually behind the camera and um kind of adjust the angles and everything you really have to go back and forth so that's kind of exhausting but yeah you just have to go back and forth back and forth try different settings
thought that maybe um, I will want some uh, light coming, like the, the window light, the main light will come from the front and kind of get that nice highlight, but maybe some like a uh, create uh, accent light and maybe added color. So I would put uh, a gel uh, with the, um, my flash. I didn't really like the way it looked so then I thought maybe I should add uh, also softbox from the main light stand just to kind of compensate for the uh, light but I didn't like it either so in the end I just end up with using natural light only without any additional I'm on a very good terms with natural light I love it a lot I love artificial as well I think they're just very very dif different one and I feel I still have so much to explore with artificial but natural light always have a special place in my heart because there's just nothing like a, like a natural light anyways when I said the setting when I said everything now was the time to actually create uh, uh, hair and makeup and get ready so this as I said this shoot was uh, pre-planned so I had my hair done in advance of, uh, the night before uh, and I start, I always start with the makeup and then I end up uh, doing my hair. So uh, I wanted something really dreamy, uh, editorial, statement makeup. And I went with purplish, kind of burgundy purplish uh, smoky eye with uh, huge eyelashes that actually I got from uh, one of the my good uh, friends makeup artist Bia uh, we worked with her before but I haven't posted the picture yet and they are amazing so I got those lashes from her and yeah, they really come in handy to create that kind of exaggerated uh, dreamy effect because I have this amazing custom made um, headpiece um, my mother made it actually for my studio and I had it for quite a few months and I haven't had a chance to shoot with it and I thought that is the perfect opportunity because that what I was envisioned kind of dreamy by the window like a something fairy tool dress flower crown curls lashes I finally get to shoot it so yes I've done with the makeup I've done with the hair I've decided to leave some um, hair in front uh, and kind of put it back uh, for the because I didn't really want my hair mixed up a lot and kind of contradict with the crown itself and then I just start photographing and I try different different directions Whenever you take self-portraits, just first with styling, really think what look do you want? And if you don't know or there is no inspiration, there is Instagram, there is Pinterest, there's so many inspiration there, create and mood board. I have so many mood boards for, from before that whenever I see a picture, I pasted there for the inspiration so whenever I want to create something and I don't want what where to start I always go to my mood board and see all those inspirational beautiful images that I find interesting 
so I would suggest that and the more time you will put into preparation hair, makeup, set, the more interesting your shots will be. So don't be lazy. Whenever you create, you want to make something creative, it does require preparation. So don't be lazy and actually research in advance and think at least kind of the overall guideline where you want to go with your look. It always helps you in the end. That's why I wanted to share this video with you to show that it does take time. I do uh, invest a lot of time and effort in my self-portraits. Again, it's not to mention the editing time. It's fun to kind of have that, go through that transformation. And if, for example, you're a man and hair and makeup is not really your thing, then go with the costume, go with the set, put, an effort into that and then it will become more special I just wanted to, to show my creative process how it's actually done behind the scene step by step that's what I'm going through that's how, how much time it takes and that's what how it usually does and whenever I take pictures I just search and search and search and try different angles now I just move my camera and until I satisfied with the result and yes and that's how the images come to life and if you want to see more please do visit my instagram account it's yunachi underscore photo there is uh, i upload every day some new portraits selfish of myself or just the images that i shoot with my models and hope you will find it inspirational and please put thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more and please do comment below if you want me to talk about something specific or you want me to share with you something then please do comment and give me your idea and i'll consider it and okay hopefully you enjoyed the video thumbs up and hopefully see you next time bye